just there is the comedy cabin where I'm about to do stand up for the very first time. Apparently it's quite a professional looking gig. Not one I've done before. A little bit nervous, but I'm up for it. I'm really up for it. I'm gonna give it high energy. Even if the jokes aren't very good, I'm gonna give it my all and see what we can do. Let's do this. This is Comedy Cabin. Roar! Guys, the Southern Wolves back up. Welcome to the stadium. I am really up for it. You've got a great headliner to come, but for now, you've got me. Time for some new material. <laughs> so Adele has got a new album coming out later this year, and it's all about divorce. Yeah, it's coming out just before Christmas, and that means that all the naughty kids will now get that instead of coal. <laughs> <laughs> of course, all the rich families will be buying the coal for their naughty kids this year, as they're the only ones who can afford it. <laughs> I actually study maths at uni, so I guess this doesn't add up. to come. <laughs> the only job I ever threw the towel in for was at the laundrette. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Yeah. Yeah. We moved in together, got a, got a nice flat, a nice garden, foxes shitting everywhere. <laughs> We've had to dribble my fermented pea, which is seasoned no less, with a little black pepper and a little bit of chilli spices, um, all around the garden to show that there's a new alpha in town. <laughs> so they're still shitting everywhere. <laughs> We've even got a chicken! Actually, that's just what I call my girlfriend when she sneezes. Achoo! Achoo! So this is the actual garden that those foxes have genuinely <laughs> been shitting. You can see some of the garbage they've already left there. And this is a book that I've been using to try and write some new jokes. And that chicken joke was a new joke, but at the Cavendish Arms, I tried out a couple of gags using some techniques from this book by Joe Toplin uh, for his book, Comedy Writing for Late Night TV. And in particular, Oh, I was meant to put some notes in here, but there's a section on writing monologues. Of course, I've, I've lost it, the monologue section here. And he has an area called the six punchline makers. And effectively, you're, you're picking up a, you're, you're picking a, a topical subject, there you see, and then you're picking a couple of handles from that topic and try to make a joke from it. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here because you should buy the book, because it's pretty excellent. Joe has written for all of the uh, big late night TV shows in America. And so I, I tried two new ones down at the Cavendish Arms and, and I think they went pretty well. There was a report that within three years, you'll be able to get a flying taxi. Wow, that's amazing. But George Jetson says he still won't be going north of the river. <laughs> He said, <laughs> he said he doesn't give a flying fuck. <laughs> uh, and I don't, I don't know if you've seen, there's an Indian restaurant which has been inspired by, you know, Salt Bay? Salt Bay, he does all of this. <laughs> like a crab, Salt Bay. You know, with his, his golden steak. Well, the Indian restaurant has been inspired by the golden steak and has made the golden poppadom. Ooh. Yeah. 24 carrots. One lad on the beer said, I've never had so much veg. <laughs> Actually, it'd be the one place you really do want deli belly, isn't it? Cha-ching! 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 <sighs> oh, it makes me think of Goldfinger for some reason. <laughs> 